சுவாமி சிண்மயம் தேவம் சத்குரும் பிரம்ம வித்வரம் வசுதேவசுதம் தேவம் கம்சச்சாணோரமர்தனம் தேவகி பரமானந்தம் கிருஷ்ணம் வந்தே ஜகத்குரும் மாதா மாதாச்சிதமேவமேவந்துசமேவமேவ வித்தியாவிடம்மேவமேவமேவேவமேவேவ ஹரி ஓம் வி ஆர் டூயிங் தி அஷ்டாவக்ரீத மேக் ஷூர் தட் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் கரெக்ட் ஹியர் அண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் சாப்டர் வேர் the ashtavakra is teaching janak maharaj in response to his questions says katham gyanam avapnoti how we can get this knowledge and how we can get liberation and katham muktir bhavishyati ai vairagyam cha katham praptam tad bruhi mama prabhu o oh lord please teach me that knowledge by which i can gain the knowledge and liberation and also i have complete dispassion so astavakra start teaching in essentially all the three questions are one and the same it is the gnanam that also will give the mukti liberation because agnana is a problem the the bondage is only due to the wrong notions and the right understanding and we don't call it right notions the notion is a means of, on understanding itself so by right correct understanding we eliminate the the all other uh, uh, misunderstandings and proceed in terms of a liberation itself that itself is a liberation and we are doing the shloka ended with the shloka 15 will chant again nissango nishkriyo sitvam nissango nishkriyo sitvam svaprakasho niranjanah svaprakasho niranjanah ayame vahite bandah ayame vahite bandah samadhim anutishtasi samadhim anutishtasi நு ஸோ நிஸ்ஸங்கா நிஷ்கிரிய தம் பிரகாஷ அண்ட் நிரஞ்சன ஸோ யூ ஆர் இண்டீட் விதவுட் எனி அட்டாச்மெண்ட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் பீங் இன்ஃபைனெட் தே இஸ் நத்திங் டு கெட் அட்டாச் டு பிகாஸ் யூ ஆர் ஆல் ஏக்கம் தேர் ஃபோர் நிஸ்ஸங்கா ஏக்கம் ஏவா அத்வித்தீயம் விதவுட் எனி செகண்ட் ஃபார் யூ டு டு கெட் அட்டாச் அண்ட் வாட் எவர் செகண்ட் இஸ் ஓன்லி அப்பர் அண்ட் அண்ட் நாட் ரியலி that you understood is not real so there cannot be any real relationship or real attachments you can have a acting attachments as long as the body mind intellect is there which is in the relative world so nissangaha nishkriyaha asi so you are not a doer never a doer so there cannot be any notion doer is only for a finite not infinite like you tom saprakashaha your self shining and that means you don't need any means of knowledge to know yourself because you are self revealing also niranjanaha same as nissangahai they are free from all impurities because impurity has to be something different from you if it is your own nature that is of the nature of sat chit ananda swarupam satta eva chit tayahyaham that's what ramamarshi says i am evahi te bandha so this bondage is this identification with the body alone is the bondage and what do you have to do that i am not the body so until you understand it you have to meditate on it so essentially samadhim anutishtade you have to keep on constantly meditating after shravanam and mananam there is a nidhyasitavya so why do i have to meditate because my mind is not free from previous agitations and vasanas it's not been prepared completely therefore i go back into the because of the remnant vasanas so even though the teaching has occurred 
and the teaching has not sinked in. It's called the 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 uh, abiding knowledge and sthita pragya. Means we have pragya but not sthita pragya. So they have been attending to Vedanta class so many years but have not realized. That means I have not prepared my mind enough in order to to contemplate on it or to recognize it and I am still looking for outside for happiness and knowing very well there is no happiness outside. That means I am still confused and therefore I have to meditate on it. But do I have to meditate even when I am completely realized and this question has been posed recently for somebody. So even does the Jivan Mukta meditate? How long he has to meditate and so on? And here it says Samadhi is Samatvam Dhi. That means equanimity in understanding Samatvam Yoga Yuchyate. Krishna says that one who understood clearly where the everywhere, whether the, uh, the whether it's a cow or an elephant or or uh, anything, he says you or a dog or a dog eater, yes samatvam. So panditaha samadarsanaha. So one who sees oneness, oneness means not that a monkey is same as a dog or a dog is same as an elephant. He doesn't say equal. They are what he says is essentially it is the same. Just like say, all are made of electron, protons and neutrons, then I have Samatta Drushti. So even though every name and a form and all are different, but the essence is same as electron, protons and neutrons. So I can have a, a knowledge of the essence in spite of apparent differences at the packaging level. Same way packaging levels are different, but the essence remains the same. That is what a jnani understands. So for him, he has the constantly aware of that knowledge all the time. So he doesn't need to meditate. So even meditation becomes a bondage. In the Avadhuta Gita, Rattatreya says, this aham jata param jayam akhandam kandate katam. How can you say I want to meditate? Meditate on what? I am a meditator and this has to be meditated upon. You are, you are unnecessarily creating a duality where there is no duality. Because you are the totality itself, both meditator and meditated. And therefore, for you, it is a free, no meditation is required. Meditation is required only to establish that knowledge as a reality. Then, once you are Jivan Mukta, then it becomes your own vibhuti. They are all in me, but I am not in them. That is the teaching Krishna himself says. Mayatadamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina. Mastani sarva bhutani. All beings are in me. And he immediately says, Najamastani bhutani pasyam me There is no really any being. I am homogeneous, pure satsidananda swarupam. There are no beings in me. I am one without a second. So both statements are correct, but different states of reference. And the same way, samadhihi, what can, how can I be? Samadhi, because I have samatvam. I can see oneness that pervades this apparent plurality. So reality is perceived, but I understood that the reality is not reality, and it's only mitya. And therefore, the Avadhuta uh, says, Akhandam Khandati, how, how, how can you say I want to meditate? But even meditation becomes a bondage. So unless I meditate, I am not able to realize. That means I am still having not realized what is the nature of the truth. And in the same things, Swam Chamanji quotes uh, Yoga Vasishta, says, Sadhu Samadhi Sabdena Para Pragnyochute Budaihi Ajastra Mambu Vahanad Yathanad Jana Rujyate. So Sadhu, he seeker, Samadhi Sabdena, Samadhi really means here is Parap Pragnyochuti. That means having clear understanding of the absolute truth. Means constant flow of that I am the totality, that constantly awareness. 
I don't have to keep saying I am a man, I am a man, I am a man. Once I know that I am a man, that constantly it will be there all the time. So there is a story by Guruji uh, about Mr. Jones. I'm sure you have all heard of it, where Mr. Jones suddenly thought he is a rat. And we don't know when he started getting that from our point, from the beginning, he has a notion that he is not a man, but he is a rat. Since he is a rat, whenever he see, whenever he sees a cat, he was hiding because he is a rat. And when his wife saw that, somehow recognized his problem, took him to a psychologist. Psychologist showed him, rat looks like this, you don't look like that, you are a man and not a rat. So, after many sittings, Mr. Jones understood that I am a man and not a rat. So after paying heavily to the psychologist, he went back and to his horror, the cat, same terrible looking cat was sitting and waiting as though for him. So he ran back to the, to the doctor and said, I understood that I am a man and not a rat, but I am not sure whether the cat knows that I am a not I am not a rat, but a cat, but a man. Obviously, he has not understood. So he says, "I am Brahman, but I don't think my neighbor understands that I am Brahman." So if I am Brahman, there is no neighbor also. So I am one without a second. That is a clear understanding. Here he gives an example in the Yoga Vasista. Says, "Yadya, yadhan, adya, narudjate." So once the the river is flowing, it doesn't stop anymore. It's a continuous flow of water only called a river. If it stops, then you don't call it a river itself. So it is the, the like a river. So the flow is continuously Adhyadharaya Srotasa Samam Sarla Chintanam Viralata Param. So in the Upadishara. Ramana Manishri says, it's like a flow of ghee or flow of a river. Flow of ghee, two examples he gives. And Sarala Chintanam, so it's constant flow of that. So in the first example, the flow of ghee, we go, ghee sticks to us. That means there is a Sneha Bhava. That means you always stick to that truth that I am Brahman. And the second is the river is a flow of the river and it wants to reach the ocean and uh, small obstacles it gurgles over making a joyful noise and if it's a very big obstacle it gracefully goes around a uh, big mountains and all that and without losing the sight that it wants to merge with the ocean itself in the same way meditation is also is what he describes as the flow of the river here flow of the river is in the example is it is continuous flow same way the mind of a, a jivan mukta constantly aware of that aham brahmasmi all the time in spite of that he is actively acting and vigorously acting in the society and he recognized that i am never a doer in spite of all the activities that are going on. In fact, he acts more than anybody else because completely utilizes his body for the service of the Lord. And there is a, another sloka. This is the Sarvaga Sarvadaivatma Sarvamevaja Sarvada Asamerhi Ke Sausya Samadhira Pikasmutaha even that I want to do meditation is itself becomes a bondage because when the self is all pervading and expressing as a consciousness <coughs> and in everything and everything is nothing but you then all the time then what is the need for any samadhi anymore so samadhi has to be understood so nirvikalpa samadhi call it and I want to do samadhi samadhi is only a means to formally abide in the knowledge. Once you are in the knowledge, you are eternally free. So you are all, all the time in the Samadhi. Now we will read 16 slogan. Tvaya vyapta midam vishvam 
त्वया व्याप्तमिदं विश्वं त्वयि प्रोतं यदार्थतः त्वयि प्रोतं यदार्थतः शुद्धबुद्धस्वूपस्वं शुद्धबुद्धस्वूपस्वं आगम मगमहाुद्रचिताुद्रचिताया व्याद विश्व त्वयि प्रोतम यदाथत शुद्धबुद्धस्वूपस्व मगमहाुद्रचिता सो त्वया व्याप्त विश्व सो इद विश्व दिस् एंटर् यूनिवर्स इज व्याप्तम त्वया इट हज बीन पर इट इज पर्वेड बट बाय यू बाय यू मीन्स वॉट यू आर नॉट टेकिंग अवट द बॉडी माइ इंटेलेक्ट विच आर फाइनेट बाय कॉन्शियसनेस दट यू आर बाय एक्जिस्टेंट कॉन्शियसनेस एंड लिमिटलेस इज दैट सो यू आर एसेंशियली त्वयी यू आर दैट तत्व मसी वे आर द इक्वेशन दट यू करस्पॉन्ड्स टू द प्यूर कॉन्शियसनेस दट इज इन प्राइड इन दट इक्वेशन ऑल्सो Oh, so here is Toya means you are that conscious existence, and you pervade this entire universe. So this has to be in the mind of a, a Jivan Mukta. He constantly aware that I am pure consciousness and existence as a pure existent consciousness. I pervade this entire universe, not as this body mind intellect, but as a pure existent consciousness. and they are all in me including this body mind intellect inter so twaya vyaptam idam vishwam this entire universe is pervaded by you and that is instruction to the to the student from the student point i pervade this entire universe twayi protam yadarthatah you essentially a forms like a protam a string that is binding everything Yes, string means uh, the adhara support uh, for the, the as uh, a chain, and so I put them. It is the just like in the Gita says, I I am like a string for the whole universe. String means that which supports the necklace, and without that, the necklace will fall down. Even though each one is a crystallized form that you see, but what you don't see is the thread. that really binds everything here the thread is separate from the bead but here the thread is only an analogy where one has to think you are adhara says that is the supporting says bhumi rapo nalo vayuhu khammano muddire vacha ahankaram idi amne bhinna prakruti rashtada this eightfold nature of this prakruti and there is beyond the prakruti is apareya mitastvanyam that is beyond that which supports this whole prakruti itself so prakruti is nothing but bhumi apa all the creation itself is prakruti that is maya and that is what is pervaded and supported by is apareya mitastvanyam prakrutim vidhime param there is a supreme thing that supports that is protam and that's essentially twai protam yadarthatah in reality you are the one that supports the whole thing so don't say that i uh, the world is supporting me no you support the whole world and suddha buddha swarupastvam you are suddha buddha swarupah tvam you are pure unadulterated consciousness and consciousness is existence and existent consciousness is infiniteness the scripture the specifically says prajnanam brahma consciousness is infinite and in the chandogya the sat is ekameva advitiyam existence is infinite and there cannot be two infinities because there are two the one limits the other and neither one can be infinite so if it is can be only one infinity and if it is existence and that has to be consciousness and therefore it is a consciousness existence alone is infinite so shuddha buddha swarupastvam so magamaha shuddha cittatam so the uh, shuddha cittatam don't entertain pity mindedness pity mindedness is i am this and i am not that that is what 
that means localization i am only this and when you say i am this and not that that is what essentially ego ahankara ahankara comes when this is mine and that is your mamakara starts and all the pettiness is only in the life you can see that everyone becomes very petty because this is mine and that's yours and the fight all along and chudra chittatam so petty mindedness is the you give up maga maha do not give away to that kind of the notions that i am only this and therefore not that and therefore i want that because intrinsically i want to become infinite and i am trying to acquire this and that and to become infinite and you cannot become infinite by adding finite things to finite the finite plus finite is only finite so you can never become infinite by a process you can only become infinite by recognizing you are already infinite that's essentially what he is saying here we will do 17 निरपेक्षो निर्विकारो निरपेक्षो निर्विकारो निर्भर सीतलाशय निर्भर सीतलाशय अगाध बुद्धिरक्षुब्धो अगाध बुद्धिरक्षुब्धो भविन्मात्रवासन भविन्मात्रवासन तगद निरपेक्षो निर्विकारो निर्भर सीतलाशय अगाध बुद्धिरक्षुब्धो भविन्मात्रवासन सो निरपेक्ष सो विदउट एनी कंडीशनिंग दट ऐम दिस बॉडी दिस माइंड एंड दिस इंटलैक्ट सो ऐम लिमिटेड दिस एंड ऐ एम नॉट दैट सो वेन ऐसे ऐम दिस ऑब्विस्ली ऐम नॉट दैट कम्स इन टू पिचर एंड दैट बिकम्स अगो सो यू आर नॉट दैट निर्विकार यू आर without any vikara vikara is modification and you are unchanging infinite and nirbhara so you are completely dense without any divisions at all and sitalasaya you are with the serene so sitam is cool hey he is cool nowadays in the, the slang is hey he is cool cool means here he is a realized fellow that means sitalasaya he is a yeah, serene disposition that means equanimity he doesn't get excited becomes hot and he is always cool minded person sitalasaya agada buddha agadam is is endless infinite consciousness or even intelligence he is a supreme intelligent also and buddhi atshubdhi so he is without any perturbation and be that bhava sin matra vasana constantly and desiring that i am consciousness i am consciousness is not that i want consciousness it is i i am already what i am but i am looking for since i am want to be conscious of this 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 i am already consciousness that pervades everything all are in me only so there is nothing really i need to know anything so ajnatva naparanyeyam tad brahmasmi i am that knowing which there is nothing more to know and i am that supreme reality and that's what says the ashtavakra do we eat him sakara mannat mannatam buddhi sakara manrutam साकार मनुतम विद्धि निराकार तो निश्चल निराकार तो निश्चल एकतोपदेश पुनर्भव संभव पुनर्भव संभव तद साकार मनुतम विद्धि निराकार तो निश्चल एकतोपदेश पुनर्भव संभव सो साकार अनुत सो एनी सा आकार सह आकार दैट एनी हेविंग एनी फॉर्म इज अनुत अनुत मीन्स इज रियली फॉल्स हियर सो फॉल्स इज दैट विच अपीयर्स टू बी ट्रू बट इज नॉट रियली ट्रू इफ इट इज फॉल्स इज अपीयरिंग देर मस्ट बी समथिंग दट इज सपोर्टिंग इट एंड दैट सपोर्ट हेज टू बी ट्रू so for every false is supported by a truth and 
we have to have a vision develop a vision of seeing the truth behind the false that's what is called viveka viveka means nitya anitya vastu viveka so in everything that you see there are two aspects one is the false aspect one is the true aspect so i should be able to reject the false and ascertain the truth that includes the ego ego is i am this so ego is not untruth or truth it is false because there is a truth part in it mixture of satyanuta mithunikaranam adhyasam that's how shankara defines the adhyasa error there is an error involved because i am mixing two things one is that which is truth satyam and that is which is anrutam false and this mixture is called the the adhyasa and the adhyasa is i am this so this ego ahankara so i have this 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 all bio data is i am this i am this i am this all that ahankara is only because this 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 i cannot be but i'm mixing these two one is i am part which i which is true and this part which is false in same way uh, this is a snake this this is, is right and snake part is wrong and what is there is this is a rope that is the discovery of the truth of the rope or truth behind the snake and sakaraha so any akara is anrutam vidhi know that nirakaram tu nischalam so you are nirakaraha so nirakaraha is there is no akara there is no form so any form is a finite form and there you are infinite only i can invoke you in any form knowing you are infinite that is what essentially in in the hinduism the god is coming into invoke not that vigraha is a, is a god but i am invoking the lord for my upasana and therefore for a prayer so i am invoking that's what is essentially invocation asmin bimbe mahaganapatin avahayami asmin bimbe sri mahavishnum avahayami so i am inviting the lord to come in this form because lord is in nirakaraha so nirakaram tu nischalam nischalam without any movement that means changeless without that which is changeless is only infinite and that is also nirakaraha so all are similar pointing into the same etat tattvopadesana upadesena by this teaching so essentially the ashtavakra is wrapping up his teaching etat tatva upadesena by teaching of this truth punarbhava sambhavaha and na punarbhava sambhavaha na punarbhava sambhavaha so having understood this teaching and there is no more what is the result of it okay i understood and this means i have solved the problem what's the problem because i am taking what i am not as i am number 1 and by taking what i am then automatically i am free from this punarapi maranam punarapi janaram because what is maranam and janaram is not for me it for the body and when i take body is i am then i have also date of birth says this body whatever is born has to die jatasya hi dhruvo mrutyuhu dhruvam janma mrutasya cha tasmas pariharyaste nastum sochitum arhasi so there is no point in crying for that which is born has to die but you are not because natyevaham jatanasam natvam nemi janadipah nacayva nabhavishyama sarve vayam atah param so krishna teaches the highest philosophy in the first in the second chapter itself in the first 11 shlokas you are that which is beyond death and there was never time you were not there and never time i was not there all are only forms but the essence was not and other acharyas use that this is natyavaham jatanasam natvam nebe is not the you are not totality you are only part you are being born and therefore you are only jiva and not paramatma that's how they they interpret it but here we are talking about the no punarbhava na punarbhava sambhava there is no possibility for having any any birth at all and sakaram anrutam vidhi 
and all forms that you see is akara so everything that i see in the transaction world sees essentially is that vishwamidam this entire universe this 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 is nothing but the nama roopatmakam so nama roopatmakam idam jagat this world is nothing but names and forms so what about the substance there is no substance for it what is substance is brahman so what i see through senses are only the names and forms what i see is actually from the senses can only form form means standing for all attributes and once i see it forms in the in the mind and the mind forms an image of the form outside and it is stored with a codification so a name is given to a form so that when i recollect it hey, i have seen this before and such and such a place and time and all that so i remember recapitulate and that's what is the memory is that means i am putting a name and a form for it and stored in the memory and that is a part of every whole universe itself is nama roopatmakam but what is there is i am consciousness that illumines even that also they are in my consciousness and sustained by my my consciousness without the consciousness that i am this world and the, even the jagat is only mitya no support for it so once i recognize that i am no more born so ajonicha shashvatoyam purano nahanyati hanyamane sharire krishna teaches even when the body is dead or the body is killed you are not killed because you are pure consciousness that is eternal so na punar bhava sambhava ha there is no more birth and death and that is the no more cycle of birth and death and therefore you are eternally present because you are brahman in your presence all birth is taking place so it doesn't matter where something is born or not it becomes your vibhuti only in that we will stop and continue in the next talk om purnamada purnamidam <coughs> purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम